Okay, so in the garage now, and um, I'm like super tired. And I don't know why. It's one of those days where you like just can't wake up. It's super annoying. You know, I've been up for forever. I'm just not feeling it. My hair's all over the place. And... But uh, yeah, so Rally Arts, obviously, anyone that owns one probably is familiar with the um, Tactrix cable. Uh, yes, yeah, so this plugs into your OBD. You've got a cable that goes in your PC, and then you can tune it, do whatever you want, see stuff, mess with stuff, hopefully not break stuff. And then I also got a uh, for all you Evo X and Rally Art people the um the uh, AMS boost pill. So this goes into your turbo line thingy. I don't know what they're called. And uh, essentially, it's got a lot smaller diameter hole in it, so you can get more boost in theory. Uh, yeah, so then I think I'll kind of be limited by my stock rally art blow off valve, which is plastic and garbage. Um, so yeah, that's the plan today. Pretty excited, considering my car is 100% stock. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna throw the boost pill in. And then hop back in here, get my computer, and do the uh, GST tunes that we already have saved, so should be all set. So, to the engine bay. Alright, engine bay, done. Um, <laughs> pretty sure this is, pretty sure I've never owned a car without hood prop. Like with like gas strut shocks or whatever. Um, which is weird, because it's like a 2012, but whatever. So, where we're going is down here. Obviously, manifold's under this. It's a little toasty. Um, this is the turbo down here. So, we're looking at, um, there's this little pipe coming out of this plastic pipe here. Kind of bends back. It's obviously a hose clamp there. The heat shield is super annoying. But, um, I don't know how well you can see. Let me see if I can get a light. For me and for you. Harbor Floyd. Okay, it's a little better. So you can see that there's a couple of hose clamps there, but you see how there's a little hose? That's the one we need out, supposedly. Yep. It's got three hose clamps on it into a T. So it's coming off this elbow. This plastic elbow thingy or metal or whatever it is. Oh man, it's like a four inch hose three clamps on it. You want to take off the clamp that's on that little elbow and the other one all the way at the other end on the T. I'm not going to be able to hold this and do it, but I'll pull it off. Show you guys. Okay, so here's the clip. One in like that or something. Um, it was kind of pain to get off the things and the T, the fittings. So what I did is just sprayed it with a touch of WD-40 and it was pretty easy to get off. Um, so... This guy, apparently, this clip goes to the elbow. This one's clipped onto the T, and this middle one, it actually slid as I was pulling. It was more like right here. But this one apparently clips in the actual boost pill, which the AMS one is uh, more of a gold color. And I guess this one is more just metal. So, obviously, I can't see it in there right now, but I'm sure it's in there. Uh, a lot of people just take like needle nose plier, thinner than this probably even, and then kind of poke the end out or small screwdriver. So I'm going to take these hose clamps off and try to get that guy out of here real quick. Okay, so there it is out. Try not to touch it because if I focus on it, I don't want to lose it. But um, so there it is. Uh, obviously, you can see the hole is way bigger than the AMS one. Both sides. Um, I found just the nut driver worked best to push it out. This hose guy here. So, essentially, I'm going to push in. Come on. Focus. There you go. So, I'm going to push this guy in there, clamp that, put it back in. Then we'll hop back in the car and start tuning. In the car. Car is on. Two clicks on the key. Obviously, we got our little... Guy making lots of colors down there. Cables running up here. Plugged into, or not plugged in yet, but right there. 
Uh, and here we got uh, ECU flash loaded up. So this can be a nightmare to look at. I apologize. But um, first we're gonna go up to uh, this little car here. Click on that guy. Obviously, you pick your vehicle. I'm gonna do 2006 and up Evo X for 2012 rally art. Like that. Okay. And now we want to first of all save our current tune, the stock one, and then second of all load the new one. So in order to um, uh, save a copy of our stock tune, plug the cable in. Computer recognized it. Now we can go up to one of these buttons. It's going to say read from ECU's flash memory. Click that. If your ignition key is already in previous operation, press OK. So my ignition key is on. So we're going to press OK. We're going to get rid of this. Not now. OK. And now your car is going to freak out. Fans are going to turn on. This is going crazy. Nice. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> so, I'm going to let this finish up its thing. I'll get back to you guys. It's uh, moving pretty quick, but... So it's been through every single warning light possible, and then when it finished, this popped up. Operation completely successful. Turn with the ECU, turn the ignition off. So we're just going to press OK. And as you can see, this popped up up here. This is my um, current uh, flash. Obviously, this is everything inside of it. Um, but I want to save this, so save ROM as. Then I'm going to put this in a separate folder that I have already set up for mine. Um a tuning and we're just gonna save it right here oh uh, yeah then it's gonna be read image dot surf is the stock for my car saving that let's just go down and check that folder really quick documents really tuning and there you have it right there as an SRF. You can also save it as, if you go to save as again, a uh, bin file, but it doesn't matter too much. I might just save one of each just to be safe. Bam. Saved that as well. Okay, so we have our stock tune backed up now, and we can proceed to load the new tune in. Alright, so now we're going to do File, oops, sorry, file open ROM. We're gonna go to the uh, boost pill upgrade. That's what I got right now. I got these all put into folders. I'm gonna run 93, so that's what the tune I had for mine. Um, X file, rub file, then. Cool. So, I'm gonna open this. So obviously you can see that got pulled up in the corner there. 2012 Rally Art. Base map for Boost Pill, 93 Octane. And now that it's in our uh, little work page here, make sure it's selected, this guy. When you want into your car. And this red button right here. Write currently loaded ROM image into ECU's flash memory. Press that. Key is on. Key is still on. And press OK. So obviously it's going to go through the same process. The car's going to freak out. Fans are going to turn on. We're going to start writing stuff. This is all the coding and everything saved on that ROM, writing it to the ECU. So just sit tight. Make sure you don't mess with anything while it's doing this. If your battery dies, make sure it's hooked up. You know, you don't want your laptop to have a hiccup or your car to cut power or anything. Because you could seriously mess something up if you do that. It's not that hard to do, but, you know, you just got to be careful. Just make sure you're comfortable doing it before you do it. You know, take your time, read the forums, watch some videos along with you. 
It'll be all right. Okay, so just finished up. Operation completed successfully. If you're done, finishing off, we're just going to press OK. And now, now that we're done working with the ECU, we want to go to ECU up here, top corner, and then clear DTCs. This will, you know, get rid of your car freaking out and everything up here. So whenever you're done with the ECU, make sure you press this. Uh, make sure your key's on. Press OK. It's going to go through this process. This is uh, clearing all your codes, getting everything happy with itself again. Okay, that actually didn't take long at all. It took like two seconds, so, okay. And now, go up here, see if I can hold this, turn the key off. Made for that to shut all the way off. Are you going to shut off? Whatever, turn it back on. And as you can see, all the lights are gone. It's not freaking out anymore. Uh, yep. And we can close this out if you want to save a copy or whatever. Obviously, I just loaded it, so it's saved in mine. So we are all set with the new tune. I'm about to take it out for a test drive. All right, so just went for, as you can tell, windows were dumb. But um, just went for a little test drive with it. Uh, everything's running good. Seems super happy. It's like way more responsive with the tune. The boost pill seems to have picked up a lot of power in it, so I'm super happy. I would definitely recommend it for, you know, just a cable and $20 boost pill thing. Or like 30 with shipping or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's super awesome. I'm gonna get back to work. I can't wait to drive this thing more, but it feels pretty quick. I don't want to say it's fast, but it's faster and better. <laughs> and I'm super excited because it's like a super hot day and everything too. And it, it feels pretty good. So I'm excited to race some people, see what, see what it actually did. So yeah, see you later.